Senate's latest case of muddled messaging from the Biden administration. New questions tonight about who's really running the show at the White House. So let's try to get some answers from tonight's Green Team panel, former Biden campaign surrogate Kevin Walling, along with Project 21 co-chair Horace Cooper. Welcome back, gentlemen. Good, hey, Shannon, good to be with you. Great to have you. Uh, let's talk about this. This is the USA Today headline on the latest poll. Gloomy landscape for Democrats in midterms as Biden's approval drops to 38 percent in USA Today Suffolk poll. We can also throw up the next poll. Uh, Kevin, the, the news is even worse for the vice president down to just about 27, 28 percent approval. Where do Democrats go from here? You know, you heard Bill Malugin talking about Congresswoman Ocasio-Cortez saying you got to double down on some of the further left policies. What's your take? Yes, and I think the president obviously needs to focus on the bipartisan infrastructure bill that was passed on Friday uh, with uh, 13 House Republicans, uh, a good number of Republicans in the Senate. That's a great thing for the American people, $1.2 trillion that will go to uh, improve infrastructure, improve broadband, uh, clean up lead pipes, pipes in our communities. So all things that this president can focus on, campaign on uh, with regards to the midterms, there's going to be a lot of ribbon cut cuttings. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of Republicans who actually voted against Against this bill that will be at those ribbon cuttings uh, in the next couple of months and years to come. Uh, so this president needs to focus on the economy uh, as we come out of this uh, cr uh, COVID crisis, focus on this infrastructure bill that was just passed resoundingly for the American people. And that is a roadmap to success uh, now that we're a year out today from the midterms. Mark Penn's also giving, uh, trying to give some advice or a roadmap to success uh, to Democrats, writing in a New York Times editorial uh, with, a, with a, another co-author, Andrew Stein. He says, Senator Joe Manchin and Senator Kirsten Sinema are not outliers in the Democratic Party. They are, in fact, the very heart of the Democratic Party, given that 53 percent of Democrats classify themselves as moderates or conservatives. You can't dismiss a clear electoral trend. The flight from the Democrats was disproportionately in the suburbs, and the idea that these home-owning, child-rearing, tax-paying voters just want more progressive candidates is not a sustainable one. Horace, will they pivot? Doesn't look like they're going to pivot. I mean, here's the problem. We've spent trillions this year that don't focus on the real problem that exists in America. How do you encourage the very people who make up the backbone of our economy? Small businesses, people in blue collar, skill jobs, coming back to the workplace. The payments, the extended unemployment, all of the other statements like uh, the out of control border and the disaster in Afghanistan say to the American people that this administration is on the wrong track. They plan to double down. They plan to go forward and do more of the things that the American people reject. You're in a hole and you're digging. I say stop, but apparently I don't see signs that they will. Well, one of these issues is the fact of this Line 5 pipeline uh, and the word that uh, it, it runs Canada to Michigan, about 540,000 barrels uh, a day, and the fact that it may be uh, potentially being considered to be shut down. Here is the exchange with our Peter Ducey over at the White House today on that issue. I said, uh, is, it, is it being studied right now? Is the administration studying the impact of shutting down yeah. the Line 5? The Army Corps of Engineers is preparing an environmental impact to look through this. Okay, Horace, I'll start with you on this topic. Uh, they admit at a time uh, when we're entering into a season of the higher prices to heat your home, to fill up your car, that they're actually considering it, but they must think that there's a good reason for that. Going to the gas station right now almost feels like a hostage taking event. And now grandma's uh, winter heating bill, what are we going to be seeing? How crazy are we going to let this situation get? The president should be signaling that it's garbage, that we would never do this kind of thing. And the fact that they can't say that is a sign that this administration still plans to keep right on the same path, the very same path that led to the shellacking uh, uh, in the Tuesday elections. Well, well, listen, we have seen that there's been confusing messaging on a number of things out of the White House. Um, the president saying, 
no way on these payments to people who were separated who came here to the U.S. illegally. Now we're hearing that's probably going to be true. We don't know how much. Um, the pipeline, yes, Peter, you know, pushes on it today. It looks like it's at least being under consideration. They're going to shut it down. We're never going to mandate vaccines because that's not what the federal government can do. Well, now we have this OSHA rule that will essentially, um, most people would argue, amount to the government getting its work done on a mandate through private businesses. Now we have this issue on the pipeline we mentioned. Here is Energy Secretary Granholm talking about the potential impact on Americans or what's coming this winter. Should Americans in what will likely be a cold winter, most of them are, expect to pay higher prices for heating their homes? Yeah, uh, th this is going to happen. It will, be, uh, it will be more expensive this year than last year. That's straight from the cabinet secretary. Here is a, um, a display of some of the estimates, and this is from a government agency, about potentially what could be going up. Propane, heating oil, natural gas, electric heating, you see all of it up there substantially. Kevin, how have Democrats and have the White House decided that this is a good time to talk about shutting down a pipeline? With the messaging, they admit that these prices are going up. Yeah, Shane, this is clearly a study that's going on by the Army Corps of Engineers. It's terrible timing, terrible optics with regards to what's going on with regards to uh, energy in this country. Uh, and I think you see a president uh, with regards to the supply chain, with regards to uh, pressuring OPEC, other uh, oil producing nations to do all that they can uh, to uh, provide resources to the American people. Uh, this is uh, clearly a crisis. Uh, obviously, the president was focused on COVID coming into uh, his presidency. Now this this is with regards to inflation, with regards to oil prices, with regards to uh, gasoline prices. This is clearly where the uh, White House is focusing on as we head into these colder months. Uh, and clearly, I think you're going to see some action out of this administration with regards to this issue uh, wholeheartedly. This is terrible optics when it comes to politics. And you're going to see a president and an administration focused on this issue, uh, you know, clearly because we've got a year to go to before this, mm -hmm. uh, you know, these midterm elections. And this is critical for the American people. Yeah, and polls show us that people are very worried about inflation, the economy, and all kinds of things that show up on their kitchen table. 100%. Um, so we'll see. Uh, Kevin and Horace, always appreciate your time. Thank you both. Thanks, Shannon. Thank you. Some